Okie dokie, so that's brunch done. Now we make our way to this oak tree and I'll show you what I'm after, if you're interested. As you can see it's very, very dry. So. Where are we? Right, I'll get over there and I'll get you in the back in a sec. I don't know if you can see this around here. Looks like we've had the deers and they've been coming through because it's quite a thorough, fur, thorough through they call that. Is it thorough through? Thorough fair? Whatever. And they've been lying down, look. And uh, squashing all the bracken down. Which is alright, that's cool. It's good. You've got to be careful though because wherever you go, you don't. I've had a tick. And that is not pleasant because a little bugger's hurt. And you've got to get him out. Oops, which was down my neck. Oh, sorry about that. Right, so I've got to pick a branch now. So this I've already processed, so it's ready for firewood. And I've got some at home. This is oak. Uh, I want a good piece of standing oak. But it's got to be pretty straight. Um, I might take a piece off this, actually. That looks quite good. Nice straight. If I take him off there... And here, that should do nicely, I think. Right. Ooh, this is a good saw, I tell you. Silkies are brilliant. I wouldn't mind getting one of the big boy silkies. They um, cut on the backward stroke, so not the forward, but the back stroke, so you put pressure as you're pulling the, the blade towards you. I'm going to be able to process this and make a mallet tonight, so I'll finish it tomorrow. There we go. Beautiful bit of oak. Right. That's him. That's him. So, that's a nice piece. Okay, back home, I'm going to process this and make a, a mallet. I just noticed there's quite a bit of woodworm in it, but the wood is solid oak, so I'm hoping that they haven't gone through it. So I'm just sawing it to the right length I want. I won't film that because I can't hold the camera. I haven't seen the chickens, no. It looks quite clean, but I'll get my knife and uh, we'll check it out. Okay, we'll check that and see how far it's gone in the wood. Then we'll go from there. It's a bit annoying. Anyway. Could be okay, actually. Sorry. Sorry, let's have a look. Ooh, a bit there, so check there. Can you see the, the score lines on the outside where the worms have been? Can you see that? Zoom in a bit more. Okay, that's where the worms have been and they can't get through. Hopefully, they've just scored the surface. Okay, I'll get a bit deeper. Some good score ones down here, so... It's only going to be a mallet, I'm not really too... Oh, there we go, look. They haven't gone too far. This is the SE5, by the way. It's a bit like a dirty Harry of knives. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to start trimming this and I'll show you what I'm going to do next after I've cleaned it. Okay, pretty clean. Um, the worm is 
mostly surface there's a little bit just going under the surface I'm not really bothered about that the next thing to do is choose which end you're now going to <clears throat> have the handle so you're going to create a saw mark and you're going to go so deep and I'll show you that in a bit and then we'll straighten up the other end and that's your mallet end so there we go that's I'm just I don't know you'd use this as uh, tinder or whatever but I'm not going to put it in the house anymore I'll leave it in the bucket because there might be worms in it they look like it's not active so there we go Okay, so you want to choose the length you want the handle. I'm looking probably about there. So make just a bit of a score mark. And if you can do it by eye, just keep working your way around. And hopefully you'll meet the other side. With reasonably accuracy. I'm saying that. <laughs> Oops. A little bit out. I've only made a surface cut on that. So I'm keep it here. You can see that's at a slight angle, so I'm going to come straight until it meets. There we go. So that'll be my cut line. And I'm going to go sort of, you've got to choose how, how sort of what size handle you want. So I want it around about, I would say, this sort of size. So I'll do a mark. But I suppose if you look at that, you're looking about an inch deep. So it's probably about the thickness of that blade. I'll go all the way around. I'll start doing that and then I'll uh, catch you folks in a little while. I'll just start off. Going round. God, this saw is very, very sharp. I might as well show you anyway. So. Let's try that first. You can always take a bit more off afterwards. You can't put it back on. That'll do for now. And we'll get another piece of wood and start doing the malleting. I'll show you that from the top. So if I come out, oh, that's in, sorry. knife work my way around hopefully hopefully it splits nicely You never know if you've got the odd knot in it and it'll just split the whole lot. See that went a little bit. Now we get into the saw mark, you see. So a bit more here. Beautiful wood. There's a knot there. So you can see I'm going to do a little bit more on this side, then I'll start shaping it by hand. Use it as long as you. I don't. I don't trust this knot bit. That smells absolutely beautiful. And there's no. You can see where the worms been on here, and it's not gone through. 
sorry, there. I'm just going to carry on now, making my way around this, tidying up, and I'll get back to you in a bit. I mean, you can use an axe as well. I want to get that. But you've got to mind your fingers. This is how good this knife is, i got to admit. You can even go the opposite way. I'm just... But I'm on a stone at the moment. This is just for demo purposes, so I won't damage my blade. There you go. Okay, and now I'm smoothing it using a mora. This is um, a mora three inch, it's full tang, just a very, very cheap knife. I think they're about 11 quid. Brilliant bit of kit, nice and sharp. So I'll just finish that off, make it nice and smooth, round the end over. The last thing you want to do is sort of get it digging in the, into your palm of your hand. And then we'll finish off the main mallet, round the ends over a little bit, and I'll show you the end product. And then I'll probably put a bit of um, oil on it. A little bit thinner, it's just a little bit on the thick side on the handle. You've got to make it comfortable, you're going to have an achy wrist otherwise. Chicken things get food. So make sure you put it away from your knife, not lecturing people, just safety. And hardwood, it tends to um, push you a bit. So, especially when you know. So I'll, I'll carry with this. Well, that's it, virtually. I'll tidy the uh, the head up, make that look nice and tidy. You can see the different colour in the oak anyway, so I'm not going to get much. I'm not bothered because this is going to be the hen that's going to take the battery in anyway. What I'll do, I'll just tidy that up. Oh, well, I'll carry it on a bit and I'll show you. I'll just tidy that up, round that over, slide round in the end over. We're not far off what it took all together, claiming it and gathering it half an hour of that, and a bloody good mallet. beauty of this knife is so heavy that you can just and we're not far off actually I'll just keep going round Sorry, where are we? I'll just keep going round. Round that edge off. And that's it. One beautiful rock hard mallet. Cheers. If you'd like to just like the video, that'd be great. Subscribe if you wish. Um, share and anything else. And I'll finish this off. I'm not going to sand it, there's no need to. I'll just clean it up with my knife and um, like I said bevel the edge over bevel the edge over which I've always started doing and that's it that's for my my new project coming up which is quite uh, quite exciting take care see you in the next vid